Alsace is a skinny region in northeast France that is nestled up in the foothills of the Vosges Mountains, very close to the German border, famous for producing some of the best white wines in the world. Don't be surprised if you notice that the region looks and sort of sounds German. It once was. The region has a cool to moderate continental climate, so it's not surprising that the grapes grown there are all grapes that prefer cooler climates, like Riesling, Pinot Gris, and Gewürztraminer. The Vosges is very effective as a barrier, a notable rain shadow, keeping rain and storms at bay. As a consequence, the region is the driest in France, with very few rainy days. This makes it a much more predictable continental climate than others such as Burgundy. So while the grapes grow and are noted for preferring the cool, the daylight hours they receive each year means that the grapes can become very ripe. For grapes on the slopes of the Vosges Mountains, which face east and southeast, this level of ripeness can be exacerbated. Throw in the additional heat from climate change in the past few decades, and we have a region that can produce very ripe, cool climate grapes. How do you think this would impact the wine styles? Well, we have very ripe grapes, which means we have accumulated a lot of sugar, which will lead to high alcohol levels. It means that the flavours in the grape can become very ripe. It also means that we can quite successfully create sweet wines, or at least wines with a little residual sugar. The region, though, is not a monolith. The most prized grapes will still be grown up in the foothills on steep slopes with those east and south facing aspects where the vines will attract the most sun and heat. In contrast, grapes growing further down on the plain have more fertile soils and receive less sunlight, so here we expect higher yields and less concentration in our grape. Likewise, in the north of the region, there is less protection from the Vosges Mountains, so it's decidedly cooler. These grapes are more likely to be used for sparkling wine production or inexpensive still wines. There are also a very diverse range of soils that can be found here, which is sometimes more suited to one grape than another.